Ephesus, in modern-day Turkey, was once one of the most important cities in the world. The site is still a popular tourist attraction today, and it's easy to see why. The city was once home to over 250,000 people and had indoor plumbing, flushing toilets and running hot water supplied to public baths, pipes are still visible. In fact, some of history's greatest figures lived here, Mary, mother of Jesus, Paul, apostle, and John, Bible writer one of the most popular tourist attractions in Turkey. Ephesus is one of the most popular tourist attractions in Turkey. For decades, it has been a destination for history buffs and people who like to travel. The site was once a popular destination for people who like to visit historic sites, but that has changed recently. There are many reasons why Ephesus is special. The largest, most beautiful and important ancient city in the region was Ephesus. It is located on the west coast of Turkey, not far from Avalik. The ruins of this great ancient city are still visible today, including such landmarks as the Artemis Temple and the Library of Celsus. Ephesus was founded by Attalus I Soter, reigned 241 BC to 197 BC, in about 188 or 189 BC upon the site of a former Phrygian settlement that had been destroyed by an earlier Cimmerian attack during which its inhabitants had fled to Lampsacus. The name, Ephesus, can be traced back to its founder, King Attalus' son, Attalus. In Greek mythology Ephesus was said to have founded by Androclus who comes from a family line called Androgenes who descended from Hercules' son Erethonius. A crucial trading point thanks to its port on the Aegean Sea. This ancient city was an important trading point thanks to its port on the Aegean Sea. It was also at the crossroads of several major trade routes, which made it a key center of commerce and culture. The city had one of the largest harbors in Asia Minor, and it remained active until roughly 1000 AD. In addition to being an important trading center, Ephesus was also home to one of the most famous religious centers in all of ancient Greece, the Temple of Artemis, or Diana, one of the seven wonders of the ancient world. This impressive structure held many religious ceremonies throughout its lifetime from approximately 600 BC until it was destroyed by an earthquake around 356 AD. An important religious center and pilgrimage site for early Christians, St. John, Virgin Mary and Paul lived here. The Apostle Paul was a major figure in early Christianity and wrote his letter to the Ephesians from here. Saint John, author of the Gospel of John and founder of the Church of Antioch, lived in Ephesus for a time. And Mary, the Virgin Mary, is said to have stopped by when she was fleeing persecution in Judea, modern-day Israel. So if you're looking for an opportunity to connect with some big names from history or just want to pay tribute to some powerful women in Christianity, we recommend making your way to Ephesus. The site of the Third Church Council, which established the Christian texts that are considered to be biblical canon and that is read by us today. The Council of Ephesus was held in 431, and it was the first council to be attended by bishops from all around the empire. It established the New Testament canon, or books that are considered to be divinely inspired and have been passed on through time. A special highlight of this council is that it was presided over by Saint Cyril of Alexandria who died while addressing an assembly at which he had been allowed to speak only because Pope Celestine I intervened on his behalf. The Church honors him as a saint because he vigorously fought against Arianism, a doctrine which claimed that Christ only became divine after his resurrection. Once had a population of 250,000 people in Roman times, equivalent to London or NYC today. Imagine living in the largest city on earth. It would be a bustling metropolis, full of people, noise and traffic. In fact, London has a population of 8.8 .8 million and New York City has 8.5 million people today, so those cities are about half as large as Ephesus was in Roman times. Ephesus was the capital of Ionia, one of the twelve regions into which ancient Greece was divided. Its history goes back to the Bronze Age, about 3000 BC. 
In 546 BC it became part of Persia but regained its independence after Alexander's conquest 10 years later. It was then destroyed by Pergamum in 133 BC but rebuilt soon afterwards by Attalus II who named it after his wife Ephigenia, Ephes. The city flourished under Augustus and became one of Rome's great commercial centers with 250,000 inhabitants living there at its peak around AD 75 to 125. Had indoor plumbing, flushing toilets and running hot water supplied to public baths, pipes are still visible. As an ancient city, Ephesus was known for its public baths, which were not only a place to hang out but also a place to get clean. The Romans had indoor plumbing and flushing toilets, but this was a new idea in the 4th century BC when Ephesus was founded. You can still see the pipes used for hot water today. Featured public toilets where people gathered for socializing, not unusual in those days. You might be surprised to find that public restrooms were not just a place of business, but also a social hub where people met and talked. In those days, there weren't many places people could go together to socialize. As you may have guessed, these public toilets were a great place for meeting up with friends or even making new ones. Ephesus is an important place for history as well as a great place to visit. Ephesus is an important place for history as well as a great place to visit. The ruins of Ephesus are among the most significant archaeological sites in Turkey. You can learn about the history of Ephesus at these ruins. Ephesus is an amazing place to visit, and if you have the opportunity, don't miss it.